Are you having trouble getting high FPS and low ping after the newest Roblox update? Don't worry, I've got the latest void strap fast flags that still work right now even after the patch. These settings gave me smoother gameplay, higher FPS, and much lower ping on every game I tested. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description and enjoy with lower ping. Step 1. Make your CPU work at full power by unlocking all processors. In this first step, we're going to make your computer's CPU run at full power so Roblox can run smoother, faster, and with fewer frame drops after the new update. Start by pressing the Windows key on your keyboard and typing System Configuration into the search bar. Then click on it when it appears so we can begin adjusting your system settings. Once the window opens, go to the Boot tab at the top, then click Advanced Options, which will open a smaller window where the important changes happen. In this pop-up, check the box that says Number of Processors, and then open the drop-down menu and pick the highest number you see. This number represents how many CPU cores your computer has. By choosing the highest value, you allow Windows to use every core instead of leaving some unused, giving Roblox full access to all your processing power. After selecting it, click OK, then Apply, and close everything so your changes are saved properly. Finally, restart your PC so these adjustments take effect, and when your computer boots back up, Roblox will already run smoother because your CPU is no longer holding back its performance. This gives your system a stronger foundation for the next FPS boosting steps. Step 2. Make Roblox use your CPU better with the Run With Affinity tool. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. For this step, we want to make sure Roblox fully uses every bit of your CPU power and we'll do that with a tool called Run With Affinity. This program forces Roblox to use all CPU threads, which helps boost FPS and reduce lag even more. Start by opening Run With Affinity and clicking the three dots to browse for the main Roblox launcher file located in app data slash local slash Roblox. Select Roblox player launcher.exe so the tool knows which program to optimize. Next, in the Set Affinity section, choose the highest number available which represents the total number of CPU threads your processor has. Selecting the maximum ensures Roblox uses your entire CPU efficiently instead of limiting itself. After that, create a shortcut and give it a clear name like High Performance Roblox so you can easily find it later. Set the Run option to Maximized so Roblox launches in full screen automatically. From now on, always open Roblox through this shortcut. Doing so forces Roblox to use more CPU power, giving you higher FPS, fewer lag spikes, and much smoother gameplay even on older or weaker PCs. Step 3. Boost Roblox FPS using the latest void strap settings and fast flag configurations. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. This step is where the major FPS increase happens. After Roblox's newest update, a lot of older launchers stopped working correctly. But Voidstrap is the new and improved launcher that genuinely boosts performance. It's built on the foundation of Blockstrap but upgraded for faster loading, higher FPS, smoother gameplay, and better compatibility with the latest Roblox patches. Start by downloading and installing Voidstrap from your FPS Boost Pack. Then search Voidstrap in your Windows search bar and open it when it appears. Inside the launcher, the Settings tab shows basic options like message logs, but the true power comes from the Deployment and Fast Flag Editor sections. In the Deployment tab, turn on Multi-Instance Launching so you can run multiple Roblox games smoothly, and enable Cross-Game Teleportation to make switching between games much faster. These two features alone make Voidstrap feel extremely fast and reliable. Next, open the Modifications section, which works similarly to Blockstrap. Here you can manage mods, visual tweaks, classic sounds, and other custom features. After that, go to the Fast Flag Editor, the most powerful part of Voidstrap. This page shows all your Roblox performance flags, where green check marks mean preset options and red X icons mean custom flags. Click Import JSON, paste your Fast Flag codes, and press Save so Voidstrap can apply your optimized flags. These flags make Roblox use your hardware more efficiently, giving you higher FPS and reducing lag instantly. Then open the Fast Flag Settings tab, which includes ready-made optimization profiles you can apply with one click for stable FPS, smoother gameplay, and better ping. Voidstrap even has sections like Appearance, Shortcuts, and a new AI chat tool that explains what each flag does. It's still in beta, but very helpful for learning. After saving everything, close the launcher and open Roblox directly through Voidstrap. You'll notice smoother gameplay, 
higher FPS, and lower delay as soon as you join a game. Right now, Voidstrap is easily the best launcher for FPS and ping after the latest update, and many players are hitting 300 to 500 plus FPS using it. In this step, I'm going to show you a helpful tool that can make your Roblox connection more stable. First, download the Gear Up Booster tool from its official website. I've added the official link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. The first thing you'll need to do is sign in with either your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can also browse through thousands of games available for optimization. To improve your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox, click the Boost button, and the tool will automatically start optimizing the game by finding the most suitable server for you. Next, choose your server region. Always select the nearest server for the most stable connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. Now, go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in your region. You can either choose the nearest one manually or let GearUp automatically pick the best option. For the best results, I recommend keeping it on automatic. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. Step 4. Free up RAM using ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. RAM is what your computer uses to store temporary data, and when it fills up with unused files, Roblox starts lagging, freezing, or loading slowly. To fix this, we'll use ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner, a small but extremely effective tool that keeps your RAM clean and ready for gaming. Open ISLC and look for your total system memory. It will show a large number in megabytes, MB. Take that number and divide it by two, then type the result into the box labeled free memory is lower than. For example, if you have 32,000 megabytes of RAM, enter 16,000, and if you have 16,000 megabytes, enter 8,000. These values help ISLC free memory at the perfect time so Roblox never runs out of RAM. After that, check Start ISLC Minimize so the tool runs quietly in the background, and also enable Launch ISLC on User Logon so it starts automatically when your PC boots up. Next, turn on Timer Resolution and set it to 0.50 which helps reduce input delay. Set your polling rate to 1000 or 10,000 if you're using an older PC. Once everything is set, click Stop, Start, Purge Standby List to clear your RAM instantly. ISLC will now free memory automatically while you play Roblox, giving you smoother gameplay, faster map loading, and less stuttering during big battles or large maps. This step is extremely helpful for low RAM systems and makes Roblox feel much more stable. Step 5. Make Windows Faster with Chris Titus Tech Utility for Roblox. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now we're going to improve your entire Windows system using the Chris Titus Tech Utility one of the best optimization tools available. This tool disables unnecessary background apps and services, so your computer can focus all its power on Roblox. Open your FPS Boost Pack folder and find the text file inside. Copy all the PowerShell code from it. Then search for PowerShell, right-click it, and choose Run as Administrator. Paste the code into PowerShell and hit Enter, and the utility will open automatically. Once it loads, go to the Tweaks tab, where you'll see two main presets. The minimal preset turns off smaller background processes while keeping your PC fully stable, and the standard preset goes deeper, removing even more system bloat for maximum speed. Before applying anything, the utility automatically creates a system restore point, making the entire process safe. You can undo everything if needed. Choose the preset you want and click Run Tweaks, then wait for it to finish. Once done, close the window. After using this tool, your system will immediately feel faster and cleaner, with fewer background apps draining your CPU. Roblox will launch faster, run smoother, and deliver higher FPS, because Windows is no longer wasting performance on unnecessary tasks. This is a major improvement for low-end and mid-range PCS. Step 6. Optimize Game Mode and Graphic Settings for Roblox. Start by opening Windows Settings, go to Game Mode, and turn it on. This tells Windows to give Roblox more system resources and block random background processes from interfering while you play. Then search for Graphics Settings, click Add Desktop App, and locate your Roblox Player Beta.exe file. Add it to the list, click it, choose Options, and select High Performance, then save the changes. This forces your graphics card to give Roblox maximum power at all times instead of running in balanced or power-saving mode. When combined with the earlier steps, 
These settings make Roblox feel incredibly smooth, with faster loading times, reduced ping, and much more stable FPS.